Hi everybody, it's Father's Day and I got a Dean & Co box yesterday. I went through everything like I always do. I even go online, you know me. But it is Father's Day and I thought I'd do the opening out here. Mr. Rundle and I are sitting on our patio and we have uh, Wegmans, the grocery store, has these butternut squashes shaped like french fries and onions and mushrooms we're grilling and then we're going to do shrimp on the barbie so that's how we're celebrating father's day our three sons have already been in touch with him and they're kind of daddy so they're busy having their father's day so we're alone and quiet and enjoying every minute of it but i'm going to show you what i got in my dia box is i got a pair of royal blue capris a tan kind of cafe au lait uh, scooter skirt and three tops so and uh, I got a note from Alexandria that said that she was sorry I had to wait extra long for my box she said that they don't have many tunic tops and I require tunic tops because of being an apple shape so it struck me as being odd that a plus size store would not have tunic tops but I was a little disappointed in that but when I we go in after our little cookout I'm going to try everything on for you and I'm not gonna say very much I want you guys to tell me what you think everything looks like and then I will let you know what I decided to eat so I hope you guys are having a wonderful Father's Day and I'll see you soon when I'm trying things on see you soon well guys, we're back. We had shrimp on the barbie and grilled vegetables. It was wonderful, wasn't it, Mr. Rundle? It was grand. Did you enjoy your Father's Day? I did. I'm so glad. We relaxed and we were in touch with our children. Uh, what I'm wearing today is a slub knit. It has some crochet up here. Dress. It's very comfortable. It's part of my new going sleeveless, crossing my uncomfortable borderlines. I got this dress maybe two or three years ago from Macy's and then did Mr. Rundle saying, go back, Mrs. Rundle, and then did not wear it because I don't know why. I think it's really pretty. Don't you, Mr. Rundle? I do. Okay, I finally got my Dia box. It said it was going to be here by June 2nd. It did not get here till June 15th. So, the issue with that is Alexandria says, they're having, she's having trouble finding long enough shirts for me. Now, I did say that I did not like that real thin material, and I don't. So maybe I just, the needs I have or the requirements that I have to feel comfortable aren't something that they carry. But I'll show you what I got in my box, and then you can see what you think. This is a pair of stretch royal blue ankle pants. Very nice color, very in. Here's a white blouse. It's a little bit of stretchy cotton. I believe it's cotton with a little spandex in it. It is quite short. I know Alexandra said she looked for the longest thing that she could. It has a little bit of a flared bell sleeve. Here is a tan scooter skirt, Mrs. Rundle, and she suggests that I could wear this with a pair of leggings. I do have some scooter skirts. And then here is a chiffon top with a floral pattern. It's a layered chiffon, and the sleeves have a little binding. I don't think it's actually a ruffle, and it is lined. And then a t-shirt with a peplum and the only thing I'm wondering about is like how the stripes I guess they're going in the opposite direction but when the peplum comes down it actually looks like they don't know which direction they're going in but I'm going to try everything on and I want to know what you think hold on well guys here is the scooter skirt now without a shirt down over the top I think I look like Madame Blueberry. I don't know if you've ever heard of Madame Blueberry, but she's on Veggie Tales and she likes to shop too. But it is quite comfortable. It is a stretchy uh, cotton and it has shorts underneath. 
that are right there. So here is the scooter skirt. Now, I wanted to show it on with the black tank so you could see how it fits underneath. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna put some shirts on with it. Here is the striped t-shirt. The first thing Mr. Rundle said when I put it on was? That looks very nice. He said that looks very nice. Here is the scooter skirt. He also said that he did not think I would have to wear leggings underneath it, which Alexandria said I could wear leggings. Now, they're about the length of shorts, and it could look like a mini skirt, but I think people know that there are shorts underneath. So. And why would it matter what other people think? Well, yeah, He's I know. He's body positive. I know, I'm trying, Mr. Rundle, I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, guys, let me know what you think. I'm not sure. I'm going to wait to hear from you guys before I make a 100% 100% decision about what I'm going to keep. Hold on, I'm going to leave the scooter skirt on and try on the next shirt. Here is a stretchy cotton V-neck bell sleeve blouse. It's nice and big. It's plenty big. It's almost a little too big, but I'm always between sizes. That's just Mrs. Rundle. I'm always in between. Things are either like just fit me or big. <laughs> so here's the blouse. Let me know what you think. I'll give another twirl around. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is put on the third top because I got three tops with the scooter skirt and then I will put on the ankle pants. Hold on. Here is the chiffon floral top. It is lined. It has caging up here. I don't know. So you guys have to tell me what you think. It's kind of bat wings, a little dolman sleeve, a little mm. wide, but uh, see what you think. Now, the thing I have left is the royal blue ankle pants. Hang on. Well, here I am in the royal blue. Now, if you notice the shirt, the shirt now. The pants are cute, I think, at the bottom. Do you think they're cute, Mr. Rundle? Yep. And I'm just wondering here. I don't have any long shirts that would match. But hold on. I'm going to go grab a shirt to show you what these would look like with a shirt that's longer. Now, here is a uh, polyspan tank shark bite tunic much longer with these pants. What do you think, Mr. Rundle? Yeah, it looks a lot better. See, and this is the way I'm built. I wish if there were a way, but because of the way I'm built, it just is what it is. But notice I am sleeveless. I wore a sleeveless dress today. I am really taking a step up. I do think these pants are cute. Do you like them, Mr. Rundle? Yep. I don't have any other pants in this color, and I think it look, would look good cute also in a really long white tunic. So it looks to me like we like the pants and we like the scooter skirt. Am I right Mr. Rundle? You're right. Okay the tops did not work out for me but this gives you an example of a top that does work out because it's longer. I don't know maybe not every plus size woman needs to wear tunic tops but this plus size woman needs to wear a tunic top. And usually if they are 30 inches or shorter, they're just too short. They don't give me the coverage and I just do not feel comfortable. Maybe someday, I doubt it though, because the seam comes up and it, it just doesn't look good. But I think it does look cute when I have a long shirt and I have these little, what they call like clam digger pants on. These are stretchy, I love the color. So Alexandria, bottoms, thumbs up, scooter skirt, Pants, great. Shirts, no good. And you said yourself you're having trouble finding long ones, so that may be the problem. So everybody, let me know what you think of the different clothes on me today and what you think of this Dia box. I love you guys. I hope you had a wonderful Father's Day today. And stay cool.